I'm Dane Jerome and today we're going to take a closer look at my Scott Genius and some of its unique features. The goal is always to build a bike that rides well, but this time it was also about integration and making a super clean cockpit. And in order to do that, we had to do some very special solutions to hide as many cables as possible. We'll start with the basics. The bike is based on a Scott Genius frame. It's super light, yes, weighing 2140 grams, including shock and hardware. Features 150 millimeters of travel and it's matched to an Intend Hero fork, which also has a matching 150 millimeters of travel. It's an upside down design, as you can see, which makes it super supple and the fore aft stiffness is real great on these. To hide all the cables, we had to come up with some quite special solutions. As you can see here, the handlebar is super clean, nothing but a small shift button on the left side. And here we have the shifter looking thing that actually controls the rear shock and the dropper post and a second shift button. The shifting is based on a Shimano DI2 system. So we have two sprint shifters integrated into the grips. You just actuate them by twisting them with your knuckle. Then the cable goes into the handlebars, into the control unit, continues out to the stem into the steerer, which has been carbon reinforced. And here we have the charging port. The cable then con continues down the down tube into the battery that sits here, and then continues back to the XTR derailleur. The second challenge was to run a dropper post and a remote for the rear shock, but still make it look as clean as possible. And in order to do that, I had to come up with a special solution based on a customized Scott Twinlock remote. Here the shock is open, push once and you put it into traction mode and to go back you just press that lever and it's back into open. On a regular Scott twin lock you have a third click that locks the suspension. But here the third click actually controls the dropper. So you just press once again and you actuate the dropper. So two functions but just one visible cable. How does this work? You have one cable going from the remote and into the frame. The splitter sits just behind the cable port here. So inside here you have a little box. One cable goes in, two cables comes out. One goes to the dropper and one goes to the rear shock. The drivetrain comes from Garbaruk components. They have their cassette matched to their chain ring and the crankset is the Intend Rocksteady. The brakes are Trickstuff Diretissimus with hop carbon pots cover and these are just super powerful. Another thing about them is that the lever feel is super light, so yes, some of the best brakes out there. The handlebars are custom made in Germany by Schmolke for the internal DI2 routing. This is because you of course don't want to drill in carbon fiber. We also have a Garbin GPS mount from Syncros. The bike is finished with a Syncros seat, carbon rails, very comfy, and also their bottle cage with the integrated multi-tool. <laughs> 